Hello lovelies, welcome back to my channel. So today I want to talk about a vintage Revlon lipstick. I always have had a thing for vintage cosmetics and I just like to find cosmetics that are vintage that you can still buy today. That's kind of my thing. So I'm constantly researching online for certain brands that still carry a vintage shades that you used to be able to buy or just in general cosmetics that have been around for a while. So if you know any, please let me know in the comments below. But today I'm going to share five different shades from Revlon that used to be available in the 1950s that you can still buy today. So let's get started and jump right in. And if you're new to my channel, hello, my name is Laura and this is a channel where I talk about all things vintage, beauty, and fashion. So if you love those things, please don't forget to subscribe. So I bought all of these lipsticks at Walmart, but you can also buy them on Amazon for super cheap. I think I got them for like $7 each. And the first shade that I got is called Love That Red. It is from 1951. It is a beautiful red color. It's very rich and it definitely is very vintage and I just love how it looks on and it's very easy to apply. You don't even need lip liner. So this is the first shade and it's called Love That Red from 1951. And the second shade is called Love That Pink. And this one is from 1953 and it's Love That Pink number 435. And it's actually a really nice pink. It's not super pale. There's not like a super bright hot pink. It's just like a really nice I don't know, it's hard to explain. It's just like a really nice, rich pink color. And this one is called Love That Pink from 1953. So the third shade is another shade of red called Fire and Ice. And this one is from 1951 as well as the Love That Red. So they're both red shades. One, I think, is just a little bit more brighter and maybe more orangey than the other one. So the Love That Red looks like it's a bit deeper than the Fire and Ice, but they're both from 1951, and I like both shades, actually. I just find that this one to be, I don't know, it's hard to explain, it's just a little bit more, I guess bright, it's a brighter red, this one, the Fire and Ice from 1951. So I have two more red shades. One is Cherries in the Snow from 1951, that's the year my mom was born, and the last shade is certainly red and again it's from 1951. I guess 1951 was a popular year for Revlon red lipsticks. So I'm going to show you the two shades again. This one, Cherries in the Snow, it definitely is more of a pinky red and this one again is a very deep red, the Certainly Red. Um, I like them both, they're very nice and I actually don't really know which one I like better. This one definitely is way more pink. And I find all of these reds to be kind of unique in their own. And they're all very nice on. I quite like them all and they're all very easy to apply. I haven't used a lot of Revlon lipsticks before to be honest. So I don't have a lot of experience with them. But so far I really like them and honestly the price is so good. And I know that like Besame Cosmetics makes vintage replicas. Their lipsticks are really expensive. They're, I don't know, like $25 for a lipstick. And I like the idea that I can still wear vintage makeup and vintage inspired makeup and wear the shades that were available in the 1950s today, which is really amazing, especially at a cheap price point of like seven to eight dollars, which is awesome because I've always looked at other brands, but they're quite expensive for the like actual shades from that time period. So I think this is amazing that Revlon kind of brought back these shades so people can still buy them. And it's really cool that you can get shades from the 1950s. So let me know which shades are your favorite. Do you wear any of these vintage Revlon shades yourself or do you even wear Revlon lipstick? What is your favorite lipstick brand? Which is your like kind of go-to color for lipstick? I'm a huge fan of red lipstick. I just love it because it's so vintage and I feel like it actually looks amazing in photos and when you're filming too. So that's another reason why I like it. And it's just very classic. And I'd love to know also if you know of any other kind of cosmetic brands or things that I should research for future video ideas. I'm kind of looking into Max Factor next because I went to the Max Factor Museum when I was in California and I was really inspired by all the vintage makeup when I was there. So I kind of want to dive deep into that next because I know that they still sell some of their original things like the pan foundation. So I'm excited to research that and let me know what you think in the comments below. Okay, I'll see you guys again soon. Bye!